Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today to talk all things about this blue share button that you see across Google Workspace. Now, this is what you see in docs, drawing sheets and slides, but I'll also get into what it looks like in forms, Jamboard sites and Google Earth projects as well. So this is a Google Doc that I own. That's very key. And when I click on it, I can then share it with specific folks. So I can just start typing emails, right? And once I do that, I can notify that person. I can make that person a viewer, commenter, or editor. I can also, in workspace accounts, add an expiration date. How cool is that? Now, as far as the viewer, editor, or viewer, commenter, editor roles, remember, if a, an app doesn't have commenting, then that's just not there. All right? So just keep that in mind. So that's one thing I can do. Let me just hit cancel there. There, I can also do general access. And here, you'll probably see your school, right? You'll see uh, either anyone with the link or your school district. And you can set it so that anyone with the link publicly or just anyone in your domain can, let's see here, let me do real quick. And they can be viewers, commenters, if the app has commenting, or they can be editors. Editing is great for you know collaboration and everyone puts their comments and feedback. You can also hear copy link. And then one other thing, now this settings gear, you have to own the file, but some you can get this settings gear and then you can prevent your fellow collaborators from changing other folks' permissions and sharing it. You can also uncheck this box to prevent viewers from copying text, from making a copy, from downloading it, from printing it, it's really locked down. Now, of course, folks can still take a screen capture so they can still get your text, but that locks it down, all right? By default, these are both, uh, you know, it's checked like this so that people can share it and, and folks can make copies, but just something to know about. Now, this is a Google Doc I don't own, and when I click share, I don't have that settings gear because I don't own it. Uh, at the same time, because that person hasn't done that, I can add it with add other collaborators. So something, and I can change the general access as well. Something to keep in mind. Let's look at what this looks like in Google Forms. In Forms, you click on the three dots and you click add collaborators. And there you can add your collaborators. Now, typically your Google Form itself, the preview, which is the actual form, that will be available to all or to just your district based on what you put in your settings. Again, Google Jamboard, the share button is there, um, but I do want you to notice that you don't have a commenter, right? You don't have a commenter option because there is no comment feature. Again, Google Sites, similar situation. Here it's a plus, this person in plus, share with others. And there you can change where it's published. You could also change uh, and add specific editors. One last one, Google Earth Project. So if I'm in a Google Earth Project, again, that People Plus Share Project button is there. And then you might be asked, hey, do you want to share this in Google Drive? If you are, just click yes. And then again, very similar. But again, remember, uh, there is no comment feature as well. So that is the share button that you see in Docs, Drawings. There you go. That we see in Docs, Drawing Sheets and Slides. But the fact that it, there is a sharing capability across all these Google Workspace apps, just something to keep in mind. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.